Hi, today we're going to be entering a purchase order that is drop shipped to a customer. We'll receive against that purchase order and we'll close out that purchase order. So we'll take it through all the steps of the purchase order. Now I'm going to leave off the pop sop or purchase order, sales order commitment and we'll just deal with the purchase order side right now. In purchasing, I will open up purchase order entry and I'm going to change the type from standard to a drop ship. And then I'll tab through select my buyer if that's a field I'm using and I'm going to um, purchase this from the vendor A Travel and it asks me which of my customers I want to ship this to. So I'm going to choose Aaron Fitz and then I get a list of Aaron Fitz's warehouse sites. So which of his site will this go to and I'm going to send it to his warehouse site and I'll click OK. So now let's come through and add the item. I'm going to sell him one of these green phones and have it drop shipped. And it's asking me um, which of our sites uh, we would use. Now we do need to populate it, but it's not necessarily going to uh, pull from that site because again this is going to be drop shipped. And so now we have that done. I'm going to approve this purchase order. And now what we can do, this is PO 2081, is we would receive the invoice against this purchase order. Now that's the only thing I can do. There's no way that you receive shipments in because the shipment doesn't come here. The shipment goes to the customer. So I'm going to choose invoice the PO item and it's PO 2081 and that's the item that I received the invoice for and I would enter in the serial number. I'm just going to auto generate one and click OK. So this is how we receive the invoices against the vendor. Now I'm going to key in the vendor invoice number and now if I click on distributions you can see the accounts that are used. Um, I'm using the purchase price variance and I'm using accounts payable and I have this purchase clearing account for inventory that's being used. So I'll click OK and now you'll notice that my icon um, next to my PO number I see an icon for a little truck. This is the visual cue that this particular item is drop shipped. So it's sent directly to the customer. It's not anything we deal with and so therefore there's no shipment to match it up to again. So let's go ahead and post this. And close that out. And now under my routines if I choose to remove purchase order you'll see that this purchase order 2081 does exist here which means it has been completely fulfilled and is ready to be moved into history. So my lookup list for POs are much shorter. So it's been fully committed. Now the offset of that account number would have been uh, something from the SOP side. So uh, again we're just dealing with the purchase order side in this video. Hope this helps. Thanks.